Hello, everyone. My name is Yao Weibai. My work mainly focuses on virtualization, distributed storage, and uh, Linux kernel. My topic is bring SCSI support into QMU block layer. Okay. This topic uh, consists of these ser several parts. First, I'll introduce some background and then the solution to the problems and uh, how to imp implement the solution. Finally, we will see the states of our current work and uh, the future plan. Okay, let's see the background. Um, some clustering services like OCFS, MSCS, they share discuss with concurrency control mechanism, mechanisms. The concurrency control mechanisms are usually implemented via block layer protocols like SCSI. And the shared disks are supplied by distributed block storage like Ceph. Here is the architecture. We can see that the cluster service is located in QMU guests and then access the Ceph cluster through iSCSI protocol. We can see that there, there are iSCSI initiator and uh, iSCSI target gateway in the middle of the IO path. This architecture have, has some problems. The first one is the long IO path. We can see that um, there are several components in the our path and uh, these uh, com components uh, are in nature so it's uh, it's hard to maintain Okay, let's see our solution. We know that uh, QMU can access self uh, cluster directly. So the solution is simple. We just uh, drop the iSCSI part and, uh, uh, and the, turn the architecture into that in the red picture. That is red, let the QMU access cloud, self cluster directly. But there are, there are some work to do. The first one is the SCSI support in, in self. This work has been done. Um, it consists of, of compare and write and uh, persistent uh, reservation support. Compare and write part uh, has been upstreamed, while the PR part uh, is still private. The, the next one is the SCSI support in QMU. This part is still missed, so our work is to implement in QMU. Let's see how to implement implement it. This work consists of four parts. They are device solution, uh, SCSI device emulation. Uh, block layer interface, block IO path interface, and uh, block driver interface. We are 
we'll see them one by one. Okay, the first one is the scarcity devices emulation. The code look it look is on look is in scarcity disk, and uh, the work is uh, just uh, add uh, add to emulation API, the compare and write and uh, persistent uh, reservation. This part is is uh, quite simple. The next one is block layer interface. The code is uh, in the block block backend. This part uh, we we reuse block EIOP right way for compare and write uh, and uh, add the new block persistent reserve in our check for the PR part. The third one is block IO pass interface. This one is quite quite sim quite similar to the upper one. We reuse block driver P right V for compare and write and add new block driver persistent reserve in out check three API for PR. And it's called uh, Lucas in IODNC. The last one is block driver interface. We add uh, four new API. A uh, block driver AIO compare and write for compare and write and uh, block driver co persistent reserve in our track for PR. And it's called in block RBD. Okay. Let's see the start, the success of, of this work. Currently, it's online in our cloud services, and it uh, it has it is functioning normally. The patch set of the compare and write part has been sent out out. You can you can find it through this link. Let's see the future plan of this work. Uh, the work is upstream uh, is upstreaming in the self community. Uh, we will upstream the persistent uh, reservation support into self community, and in Kimu community. We will upstream right theme uh, it, uh, support. Uh, right theme has been supported in self up self self community, and uh, the persistent uh, reservation support into Kimu. Okay, that's all. Thanks.